Why don't you just tap like that? Yeah. Eh, well, you know. Still not the world's worst blade. We also got Frostbite if I want to take out their, uh, the Lana Wool. The Lana Wool? Uh, yeah, actually, I, d I do. I do want to. I'm feeling a little cruel. Bam, bam. There's the Groff. A few turns late, but that's all right. If we find a, an Embercleave, I think that's GG by a lot. Actually, we have Lethal on board just in general, so. What's up, everybody? My name's Chance. Today, we're going to be diving into how to get down to turn three Great Hinge. And I'm not talking about with Tiblet's trickery or any kind of like stuff that throws off or skews your entire deck. No, no, I'm just talking about using this creature right here, Bayou Groff, uh, plus Great Hinge, and boom, bam, turn three. Great hinge. Because, well, I mean, if, if you have a two mana, five power creature, honestly, it, it shouldn't be that hard. And it's it's not. It's just a matter of lining the cards up correctly and, well, throwing it down. Excuse me. Frog in my throat. But uh, the, the combo really is super simple. It's, it's as simple as get down a turn one creature, Fervent, Fire Blade, uh, Edge Wall, Jespera, any of these will do. Turn two, you're going to drop a Bayou Groff, right? Sacrifice a creature. 5-4 comes on down, as long as it can live, as long as you got a great hinge in your hand, and as long as you have a land for turn 3, well, you're pretty set up. Play the third land, Bayou Groff's still down, you either use Rimrock Knight or Fuhrer of the Bitten, which will turn Bayou Groff's power into 7, which means, well, great hinge gets knocked down to 2 cost, and, well, you guessed it, turn 3, as long as you got 3 mana, increase Bayou Groff's power to 7, then you can drop a great hinge. So, with that, you can turn around and drop, you know, more creatures, pop off a different Love Struck Feast, little 1-1. One, one. You could play another Bayou Groff down, like swing in with your first, then play down another one, but it seems a little wasteful, so I really just recommend going for things like Edge Wall, Jaspira, Blizzard Brawl, uh, all that stuff off the back of that, right? But still, turn three Great Hinge, obviously this is going to equate to a whole lot of power for you and hopefully a whole lot of card advantage. Now, this deck doesn't just end there. It's not just like, oh, okay, though, well, that's that's all you really do with the deck. And if you don't hit turn three Great Hinge, well, you just lose out. Sorry, I'm going to skip that song. Just not really feeling it. Um, no, we still have Ember Cleave. We still have Kazandus. We got Love Struck Beast. We still have Edge Walls into the adventure stuff. So plenty of power there. We have Fear of the Bitten, which definitely helps out with things like Fervent, Fire Blade Charger, right? Can make them get really big, deal a whole lot of damage. Um, it's nice. It's it's just a great general overall aggro deck, right? Use utilizing everything from past and previous sets. Uh, we do have snow in here as well. Blizzard Brawl, Frostbite, plus Faceless Haven. I feel like that's those are all reasons enough in order to dive into snow, and well, we have the the means to, so why not? Anyways, outside of that, you know, the, this combo is something that I know myself, and I believe there was a commenter. Uh, you'll forgive me if I can't remember your your name precisely. I remember the the face. It's a little like image of a of a dude of a like head and a shoulder or shoulders kind of thing. Uh, you were the inspiration for this deck. So if you know who you are, then you know. Thank you for basically telling me, hey, Jan. So I, I've been trying to work out turn three Great Hinge because yeah, hey, I figured it out. So. Here we go, turn three, Great Hinge. We're going to dive into it. I'm going to stop saying it over and over and over again. Keep this intro short and sweet because, again, this this is this is an incredibly easy-to-do com combo. I don't even know. I don't think I would consider it combo. Ramp, I guess. Uh, there's not much to it if you're a newer player. You know, all you really need is the Great Hinge, Bayou Groff, Rimrock, and Fuhrer. And, uh, well, if you'll notice something about this, Remember, Great Hinge is mythic, yes. So if you've you know if you've played since Eldraine and you have this, fantastic. If not, it's a little expensive given, you know I think we're coming up on rotation this summer, right? That's when it's happening. So only a few months away. Uh, but you know the rest of it, it's, it's all it's all common. It's all easy peasy lemon squeezy to obtain. Anyways, without further ado, we're going to dive into the matches. If you've enjoyed the video so far, please be sure to leave a like down below, comment in the comment section what your favorite part of this deck is, and of course, subscribe for more if you want to see that from me. Damn, I always butcher it on the end. <laughs> Anyways, let's dive into some magic. But we don't necessarily have the pieces here for it, so let's take a mulligan there. This looks really good. <laughs> this is strong, 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 strong. Question is, what do I get rid of, you know? You know what I mean? She, you can only keep six here. I think it's the Frostbite. Because if it's a control deck, like we're not going to use that. 
This is beautiful. Yeah, I like it. Anyways, hope everybody's having a good day, good night, good afternoon. Fervent from the foe. All right, all right. You think you think you're cool? Obviously, now should have discarded a land, but you know, learn those things later in life. Super unfortunate the opponent's going first is with all aggro versus aggro matchups. You hate to you hate to go second, and this is why. They get two mana first, they get three mana first, they get four mana first, and wow, look at this. I know I have reduced mana in the deck, but it doesn't seem to matter too much. Does not matter at all. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, on the bright side, we only have two more basic fours that we can actually possibly draw whatsoever so you know that's good that is on the brighter side of things and they're just gonna drop a bone crusher here come on come on no right they forgot to hit the resolve button it's all right it's a common problem for you not me all right there's another love struck that's what i like to see now i could play down the one one love struck have one mana from rimrock but it seems a little wasteful we're just gonna drop the uh the big the big guy and uh, yeah, you know, we didn't hit turn three Grand, obviously, in this game, but can't always do it, so. Magda. Opponent's looking a little Magda. It's not the best pun I've ever made with creature names, but I like to think it's up there, you know? So I could either do one mana, Love Struck, have Rimrock come down. I like the idea of that. I do, I do like the idea of that. Because we do have Ember Cleave in the deck as well, so we are kind of setting ourselves up for that. I think I can afford to swing him with Love Shruck and still have stuff to defend on the way back. But I'm going to wait a turn. Call me Overly Cautious, but uh, that is my middle name. Chance Overly Cautious Henderson. <laughs> Y'all remember when everybody was afraid to, like, Put their stuff out on the internet like who oh, no, knew i don't want uh so they have they definitely have uh ye old and ember cleave oh no oh no why don't we go here actually because they drop an ember cleave this deals it ends up dealing six but we can still take it out you know what i mean and then we'll just chum block the bone crusher i like that i like it a lot so now what do you do Drick. They definitely play the Ember Cleave. That's for sure happening. That's... I don't know why they didn't swing it with the uh, the Fervent, though. It makes it cost less. No Ember Cleave? <laughs> what? Poor Bran. Well, that's not nearly as scary as an Ember Cleave. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> not going to lie. Uh, so we can get down Lovestruck and a Bayou Groff. Is it? That's a bayou, yeah? I, I might be saying that wrong. Fable Passage. Ye old and Fable Passage. Alright, well, this ain't bad. We can drop Fable, grab a, oh, grab <laughs> a snow mountain, and that way we have access to Embercleave if we do draw into it. And uh, we can still drop the the Groff, ye old and Groff Aruni. I am going to sacrifice a creature. Why, well, yes. Yeah, so we'll exchange that 1-1 one, one for another big creature. We'll swing with Love Struck because I have nothing but confidence. We don't want to swing with Rimrock because they'll just block with Fervent, and that's just, yeah, you know, awkward. But uh, hey, taking them down to 15. On the next turn, we can play down Faceless so we can start having access to that land, the land arena. We could have played Faceless that turn realistically, save the Fabled in case we had drawn into a Gazandu. Um... So what do y'all think? They got, they got, uh, y'all think they got Embercleave? Embercleave Mania? I could see it. I could believe it. So we'll just block like this. I think it'll be all right. I think, you know, yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. So you put that onto our brand. Yeah. Very nice. We'll take out the Bone Crusher. This is why we blocked the, the Groff to the Torbran and not to the Bone Crusher, just so we're clear although i guess love struck yeah because tour brand i thought i was being smart but i wasn't <laughs> so we have eight nine ten eleven points left uh faceless buddy you would have been lethal damn i should have played faceless last turn actually all right so we missed lethal 
we lost this game. Well, maybe we didn't lose. Wait a minute. It's five, five, six. Hmm. All right. Uh, we definitely could have won this game this turn had I dropped faceless last turn um, due to drawing this fear. So I do, I do, I do doth apologize, everybody. That's uh, that's my bad. But hey, we may still be able to live by using the faceless to chum block something. So we'll see. Uh, by the way, if you ever want to use fear to add power without like forcing your creature to attack, just throw it down on the second main phase. A lot of people don't think about it, but it's 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 genius. It's really it's a good play. Okay. Ugh, I don't like you. I don't like you, Drick, Drack, Tic Tac, Patty Whack, Give a Dog a Bone. An <laughs> Come on! We have so many better cards. Ugh, and what is this land draw, actually? Seven out of, uh, seven out of 16 is not what you want to see when you know you only got a 20 something in the deck. All right. Will. Uh, Love Shark has to swing in this turn, so I think I think they have lethal as long as they just they chum block with the what's it called? Damn it! All right, we had lethal last turn. I missed it, but you saw it. Hopefully, you saw it, which means that the deck still won. I lost as a person, but the deck won as a as an entity. Right? Better player would have won. Is what I'm saying. Uh, we'll we'll keep this hand. It's it's okay. It's all right. It'll do. Uh, and I do drop Sentinel turn. Turn one right off the rip, and this way we can drop Love Struck Beast one one, and then tap that one one for extra mana. Rataru, Rataru. <laughs> uh, the stuff I say doesn't always make sense, or really ever, you know, ever make sense. Let's go ahead and drop this as well. Drop you, and I can drop if you're onto that one one. Now it means I wouldn't be able to swing in with the Love Struck, or I can even drop it onto the Sentinel. Why not? You know what I mean? Why to the not, man? 3-4 reach. Not that it can really defend, given it has your on it. Um, but, you know, if we ever don't want it to attack, we just tap it for mana. We just tap, tap, tap. Hey, that is a fantastic draw there. So we go edge wall, tap 1-1, one, one, love struck, I think. Uh, I think it's so. Bam. All right, we don't want to swing it with the 1-1. Also, phone, I'm gonna need you to hush up, all right? It's not, not time for you right now. Uh, on this next turn, we do have enough mana for, uh, for uh, English is so hard, for Great Hinge. It's not it's not true. I say that statement a lot. Honestly, we could probably coin it as a as a catchphrase. Uh, but yeah, you know what I mean. I, I, I get messed up a lot with English. I'm not. Not in the general sense of, hey, let's go get messed up. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> we're going to tap you. We're going to tap you. We're going to drop you like a sack of hot potatoes. <sighs> I do want to drop you as an actual creature, Kazandu, but maybe getting the land, maybe getting the extra land off isn't too bad either. We're still at five mana already, though, and like we realistically don't need that much mana for anything, so... Maybe I just leave it like this. Um, I think they will get in with a little bit of a uh, little bit of damage here, but that's okay. That's all right, all right? Because if they just put both counters on the Luminarch, or if they have a Maul, or you know, all this kinds of different stuff, then I'll just be like, okay, it's you know, it's Mono White doing Mono White stuff. We can still gain two life with the Gray Hinge, so we'll be at 22. They're at 22. Hey, I'll see you there, buddy. It's a mall, so they're dealing like seven damage to face. So we're gonna be down to fifteen. They are leaving their face hole a little open. Alright, so our turn for the crack bag, for the smack bag, for the how you like them apples. 
kind of thing. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think I want to save Rimrock for in case I get Great or Embercleave, right? We're a ways off from that. I only have in one mana. Maybe Fireblade or actually Fervent since it does get the haste to Reno. Of course, if I drop Rimrock, we get to draw two cards off of it. I'm going to drop Kazandu. I mentioned last turn I wanted it down. I think I do. I think I do want it down. And Rimrock. I mean, we could always swing in, see where it gets us, you know? Another Kazandu. I am going to drop you as a land, just so we're clear. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's draw. I don't think they'll have lethal on this next turn, so let's just draw. Fabled is fantastic with the Kazandu being down, and another <laughs> and another Great Hinge is okay as well. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I think mean, it's actually wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. But y'all know, y'all know what I mean. So opponent, fifteen life. They have a nine nine in the sky if they want it. And a Heliod, not popped up Heliod, just uh, on the... Ooh, hoo, 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 forgot about that. <laughs> I was like, Heliod's not a big deal. They can't gain life. I gotta say, Heliod's probably one of my least favorite gods. Just because, you know, five mana being able to do that. It's not, it's, not even, it's not even fair. It's not even fun, fair, right, okay. <laughs> uh awkward part here if i swing all in how much damage am i dealing they have 24 life i deal three four five ten eighteen uh, that obviously is blocked so 10 12 uh what is, what is 12 plus 4 <laughs> 16 uh so i'm still off by eight and then that's plus four which gives me off by four you buff you off by three. We are off by three damage. Three? Really? Really? Really, though? There's got to be a way. Hold up. Three damage? You're crazy. I can't be off by three. I mean, I have to swing because they definitely have lethal. So, regardless, this is happening. Let's do it. Yeah, I think I'm off by three. I think if I be off by three, man, that's really annoying. Yep. And the bad thing is, is I'm gonna lose by exactly one. Or wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. I might live. If I live, it's I, I'm, I'm motherfucker. Just, just, just. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, that was fun. Exceeds, exceeds. I don't know. It's kind of like exceeds, but there's. Yeah, he's just missing a whole lot of letters. Anyways, opponent gets to go first. There's Norion, Boreon, Yorion. Not happy about it. And they play down a Triumph. Ugh. <laughs> y'all ever, ever see like a companion that marks the top tier deck? Lotus, Yorion, and you're like, well, as long as you don't drop this land turn one, I mean, we, 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 we can play some magic. And then they do, and you're like, <sighs> you didn't have to, though. You did not have to. Anyways, um, we're going to drop Edgewall and uh, do, 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 do. Sentinel. And do, do, do. Love Shrug. Uh, doesn't really matter here. We had the land set up for the Bayou this turn. We unfortunately, and we had the Great Hinge. We unfortunately just did not see the the little bitty Groth. Which honestly is not, not too difficult to get to. If, uh, if you think about it. 
Not difficult at all. So just drop love struck, draw a card, drop other love struck's uh, thing, thing in the bobber. Little one one. Wow, that is that is quite a bit of a board. Now, are you going to exile everything upon it? Uh, you don't wanna. You don't. You don't wanna do that. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. There goes another love struck. Another edge wall. Oh, you were in for a, a world of hurt. I also had that snow removal. That what, 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 what is this? The game decides me to give me nothing but gold, and you wanna you wanna take it away? You cruel, cruel man, woman, opponent, Vraska. I see you. I see what you do. Boo. Um, so, <laughs> I have six mana. I have six mana on board, plus another two here. So I think it's perfectly possible for me to potentially... <laughs> get down this great hinge. Now I have to tap my red mana. And I could still get down Rimrock plus Love Shrug, I think. I think. Three. No, I can't, but I can pump that and deal some damage. I think. Why don't you just tap like that, huh? Why don't you just tap like that? Yeah. Eh, well, you know. Still not the world's worst play. We also got Frostbite if I want to take out their, uh, the Lana Wool. The Lana Wool. Uh, yeah, actually, I do, I do. I do want to. I'm feeling a little cruel. Bam, bam. There's DeGroff. A few turns late, but that's alright. If we find a, an Embercleave, I think that's GG by a lot. Actually, we have Lethal on board just in general, so. Hopefully no massive board wipes coming. You know how that goes. Oh, wow. Oh, to the, wow. That's lethal. That's uh, it's just lethal, ladies and gents. Finally, though, right? I've had some rough luck this morning, so be able to pick it up in, uh, in a little three-minute game. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like down below, comment in the comment section, and, of course, subscribe for more from yours truly. Until next time, peace out.